Welcome to Pishi Bomba, I'm Claire Karatu. What we do here in the show is we show you how to cook. The step-by-step -step of preparing meals that you've always wanted to learn how to make or you just simply want to know how they taste. Now, if you've never watched this show before, welcome to a food adventure. That's right, we invite you, our viewers, on this very set, that's a pneumatic set, and we teach you how to cook whatever meal that you want to learn how to make. You can catch up on every single episode just by simply scanning the QR code under the screen, and all you get to see is all our different recipes that we've been able to make on this show. Cook with us, send us those pictures, we'd love to see them. Now let's jump into the food and find out what we'll be making. Now, as you know it on the show, before we get into the food, we like to welcome our wonderful guests. And on today's episode uh, is Rukia. Rukia, please welcome to the show. <laughs> I like to eat it a little red <laughs> in. Welcome to the show, Rukia. Thank you. Now, as you know her, you have seen us on, I mean, you've seen her on our screens and you've seen her on TikTok. Rukia, what are we making today? Um, we're making cinnamon rolls. Yes. Sprinkle with chocolate. Okay, so we're gonna do it slightly different, okay. but I'm gonna ask you to please wash your hands so I can give you an apron, okay. and then we can get into the nice kneading that will be happening here on the show today. It's all about cinnamon rolls. We're gonna do it two ways. One is just a regular cinnamon roll with a little sweetening from Sultana's, and the next one will be a chocolate cinnamon roll, drizzled with love, AKA chocolate, and also filled with chocolate as well. Okay, so we have our bowls and actually let me take you through the ingredients first. We have some butter, some chocolate, some sultanas, salt, cinnamon, caster sugar, icing sugar, regular sugar. There's a lot of sugar, huh? Yeah. Some ajab flour and of course dark chocolate compound in chunks that we will be melting for the drizzle, okay? All right. We're going to start off with our hot milk. Please allow me to pour this for you. Got some warm hot milk in there and I'm going to go ahead and add some cold or room temperature milk to go ahead and make that. So we're looking for lukewarm is what we're going for and then we're going to in, put in the sugar straight away. This is our regular sugar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put three heaped um, tablespoons. Please go ahead and do the same. Okay. Perfect. And then what we're going to do next is, that was the third one, yes, perfect. And then what we're going to do next is add in our salt because you want to make sure that your dough is not bland. So a very nice heaped pinch of that salt. Please go ahead and do the same. Perfect. Salt yes, perfect. And at this point is when we want to bring in our yeast and then we're going to put a, a tablespoon and a half um, of it straight into the milk. And then we're going to give that a mix just to make sure that the sugar has slightly dissolved in the warm milk because it's going to help activate our yeast, okay? Perfect, can you smell that? It's very yeah, it yeasty, really good. yeah, very nice. And then we're gonna set this in the microwave so that our yeast can bloom. Now, this is a step that I usually take very seriously because it tells if your yeast is active. Most times when your dough doesn't rise, it's because your yeast is inactive. So we're gonna set this aside in the microwave, no function on, just because it's nice and warm in there until it blooms. All right, now our yeast has bloomed. As you can see, Rukia, it's got some bubbles. Yours has nice peaks. That's what you're yeah. looking for. I have a question to sure. ask. Usually people just go in with the fly and just start going at it. Why is it so important to actually do this step? Okay, so it's okay if they do that, but then they can't really tell if the yeast is active or not. So that's why in some cases you find your dough is not rising and you're wondering why. It's because you haven't done this step to ensure that your yeast is active. So this is a very important step to making sure that your dough rises perfectly every single time, right? Yeah. All right, yes, thank you for that question, Rukia. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight to our dough again. We're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of melted butter. Please go ahead and do so as well. And then I'm gonna come in with my ajab flour. And this is the best part. It is nice and fine and, oh my gosh, 
so easy to knead, so easy to roll and very, very fast to cook, which makes working with Ajab just absolutely fantastic when it comes to pastries and exactly what we're going to be making today, which is our cinnamon roll. There you go. Please add those are just that those are just two cups because that's half a cup that I'm using to measure. And um, I'm sorry, I said easy to cook, but it's actually easy to prepare. Just this process of preparing this dough is so easy because of how just fine and wonderful the ajab flour is. Now we're using the all-purpose baking flour. Should I flour. make it full? Yes, you should. You should make it full. All right. So we're using the all-purpose uh, baking flour. Uh, this is the one that is not self-raising. You don't want to use the self-raising. You just want to use the all-purpose because the yeast will do all the raising um, of the dough, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to give this a lovely, lovely mix. Just making sure we get those lumps out. You don't want any lumps of the dough. You just want to mix it nicely because we're going to form a dough thereafter. Now, Rukia, which one would you like to make? The chocolate chip one or just the regular? Uh... Since I'm a beginner, yeah. I think I'll make the regular one. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but I have such a sweet tooth. I love pastries. So you're definitely going to love this. Now, we didn't yeah. get um, the cream cheese, but it would be fantastic to make it with a cream cheese frosting. But what we're going to do is add the touch of sultanas just to sweeten it some more. Okay. I've seen your dough. I'm going to ask you to just add another scoop of that flour. What you want is a very light, runny dough. You don't want it to get stiff yet. You just want to make sure that you um, are able to regulate the amount of flour that you're putting in. And that's why we're putting a little bit at a time. All right, this mine is, is looking whole, pretty um, good. Workout. It is, and we haven't even gotten to kneading it yet. <gasps> nabado, nabado. And you wonder why I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be super fast. You'll see. It's just absolutely fast. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add half of that cup, just not too much. Um, I'm gonna first you go ahead and mix all that dough through, so we can see the consistency, and then I will let you know if we need to rise it once again. Yeah, see, mine is just pretty much done now. Now, what we're going to do is, see, mine has formed quite a dough. Just a nice bo uh, doughy, uh, what is it, dough. Very soft to the touch. It's still quite runny. It's still not as fine and smooth as we want it to. Uh, but we'll eventually get there. How are you doing that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so with the back of the spoon, with the back of the spoon is what I'm using to sort of just like knead at your dough but you can go ahead and add just a little bit more uh flour okay all right i'm gonna work this for some time and then we're gonna put it back in the microwave just for the dough to rise you can cover it with a wet cloth uh, but because the uh, temperature in the microwave is quite warm i'm not going to do that i'll probably just layer it with that butter so that it doesn't dry out All right, now our dough is rising in the microwave. The reason I'm putting it in the microwave is because of the hot environment, right? And I just wanted to mention the fact that if you are in some coastal, our coastal people, you want to use ice water instead of warm water because of the fact that it's going to rise very, very fast because of the humidity there. So right? does that mean it will take longer if you use ice water? So we're going to slow the process, otherwise then it will ferment very fast. Right, so slow the process of rising because in Costo, if you leave that thing out there, yeah. it's gonna overflow. Brushes. Like your dough will overflow because of how warm the, the environment is, yeah. right? All right, now we're gonna make our filling. We've been here with Rukia. Rukia, so far so good? Great. Yeah? I was studying this at the hands of a chef now. At the hands of a chef? Yeah. She's yep. gonna be able to make cinnamon rolls with no problem. <laughs> All right, Rukia, now the hands of a chef. Go ahead, I'm going to ask you to grab that. Uh -huh. I'm going to ask her to make the filling. Please grab about a half of that block of butter. Oh, no, like, honey. Oh, no. Like, be generous? Like, be generous. I can help you cut it. Um, so, wow, half okay. of it, yes. Half of it, just straight in there. <laughs> in fact, we're going to add a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Now, the reason we're putting all that butter is because it needs to be softened butter, not butter out of the fridge. If it's from the fridge, leave it out at room yeah. temperature until it's softened. It's so soft. It is. And that's going to help us with mixing um, and applying. So please go ahead and grab uh, three tablespoons of the cinnamon, which is going to go ahead um, to make the cinnamon filling that we need to put in our cinnamon roll. 
and then I'm going to take some caster sugar. This is a where we're going to incorporate it. And then I'm going to ask you to just add about three of those. Okay, three? Yes. Filled. Four. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a third a cup and we're going to just pour that straight into that. That's okay. Just first let's mix it. I've realized that we've put quite an amount of cinnamon as well. So we're going to mix our butter, our sugar and our cinnamon. And what that's going to be, it's, it's going to be our lovely filling. The reason I asked you to stop is because I realized that it is quite granulated, mm -hmm. like very fine granules. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead because I do like the rough uh, grains of sugar as well. In fact, if you have brown sugar, it works just perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add our regular sugar as well straight into that mixture. All right, go ahead and give it a mix. Sweet tooth, here we come. Here we come. <laughs> now, we are going to make sure that this is well incorporated. Our dough is rising in the oven, so we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. Body lotion, smoothness, scent, glow. No, no, a nice and lovely body lotion. In I transform dry skin, qua deeply nourished, na qui smoothened. Na fragrance nayo. Hmm. Watch it too. Now available in the 850 ml pack. Chagua Kenya's number one body lotion. You're watching Peshi Bomba in association with Ajab Home Baking Flour, the flour that does more. Welcome back to Pishi Bomba. We've been in the kitchen with Rukia. Rukia, you can already see our dough is like risen, yeah, right? But great. before we get back to the dough, how did you start TikToking? <laughs> you didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. Um, it started out as a joke. Okay. Really, I was like, um, I have this new phone. I had just gotten my phone at that time. Right. And like, my TikTok career has launched. <laughs> I remember okay. coming to the newsroom and being like, my, my career has launched. <laughs> see me now? All right. So from there on, I just started sharing things to do with my work, mm. then my interest. Mm. And yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. It's been fun. I'm yeah. glad that you're enjoying it because a lot of people just do it for the sake of doing it. But the fact that you're enjoying it just makes it also beautiful. Yeah. So please make sure you follow her on TikTok. TikTok that's on Rukia underscore Bule. Fantastic. All right, now back to the door. So far, so good. It was simple, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so easy. Okay, good. I was I lied. <laughs> it was a piece of cake for her. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, begin to knead our dough. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flour our surface. We're just going to apply some, uh, basically just spread some flour. I'll just pass it through a sieve just to make it nice and even. And I'll pour some for you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get flatten your dough. You can deflate it. Just punch it. There you go. Oh, it's sticky. It's sticky. Icky. Okay. You can add, um, I'll just add, you can just now pour it onto your surface and then you will add more flour as you go because you want it to now form the dough that we're going to roll out, right? Disclaimer, I've never done this. So <laughs> if I look like an absolute mess, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> so you just want to punch it, basically punch it. Yeah, Mine's and it's very sticky. sticky. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So we're going to add lots more dough. Okay. I mean, lots more flour. Okay. All right. So I'm going to come here. Let me just pour some flour for us in a bowl. And then you want to basically just add that in there so that you can be able to pull it out easier. And if your dough is as sticky as Rukia's, then don't be, don't worry about it. All you have to do is just keep adding your flour until it forms a nice stiff but soft to the touch uh, dough. All right, I'm going to go ahead and also get mine out. And that's just by scraping out all that good yumminess from the sides. You can add some flour, it will help with the scraping. If you have a spatula, then it can also work just fine. Now, um, yay, there you go. Perfect. I'm just going to make sure I get all this excess dough out. This has been the my most favorite 
um, kitchen item and this is usually used for scraping dough like we're gonna do and I'm gonna give this to you as well and also for cutting it which we're going to use for cutting it as well so we've got this scraper this is perfect for bread making dough making kneading and just cleaning your surface okay now as that is going yes yeah, see that perfect perfect all right now what we're going to do is we're going to knead it for about two minutes to five minutes just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and silky and then we'll roll it up All right, now we have our perfectly formed doughs. And remember, as I told you, you're going to make the Sultana's one. I'm going to make the chocolate chip one. So what I'll do is I will add just a little bit of chocolate chips into my dough. Not too much so that it doesn't overpower, but just enough to sweeten and you can taste the chocolate. All right, you will add your Sultana's in just a bit because yours is going to be much easier. All right, now we have our perfectly formed doughs, which I've added my chocolate. I'm going to sprinkle some for you as well. And what we're going to do, Rukia, now is we're going to roll this out to about an inch, almost like a square. You don't have to make it into a circle, so it's just almost like a square. You just want to roll that out. Actually, a rectangle would be better. Rukia, do you cook? No, I don't, <laughs> but I do eat. You, you eat, perfect. So we will eat a lot of the cinnamon rolls <laughs> today. All right, now you want a perfect rectangle about, again, like I said, an inch or even slightly thinner. All right, now what we're going to do now is we're going to incorporate our butter and cinnamon mixture. This actually looks so good. It does, doesn't it? It's nice and creamy now. Okay, I'm just going to put about two dollops so that you also have some nice dollops in there. Go ahead. I will cheat and put more. Put more, put more, that's fine. <laughs> and then you want to spread it now, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and also add just a bit more. I just wanted you to have enough. So let me scrape. And you want to just get that exactly like you're doing. Smear it all over just to make sure you get that perfect coverage. So just smear that all over your dough. Perfect. Now, because of the fact that I'm making a chocolate chip, I'm going to add some more chocolate chips inside. But please remember that chocolate does burn quite easy in the oven. And especially if it's at the bottom or at the top, it's going to burn quite fast. So you don't want to incorporate too much chocolate chips in there. Perfect. That looks wonderful. Thank you. Now, at this point, I'm going to ask you to please add in your sultanas. You just want to spread those out. You can just sprinkle them right on top as I'm doing my chocolate chips. Just like that. Now just sprinkle some right on top. This is optional, you can leave it out. Not too much, just a little bit so that you don't get too much of the sultanas. That's perfect. I think that's enough. That's enough. And what we want to do is now you can go ahead and use the scraper. And then scrape the side. Nope, scrape this side. So then we can now roll, begin to roll. Yes, perfect. Now tuck it. Tuck it in and roll it. Make sure it's a nice tight roll. You're good. You're good. There you go. So tuck it in and then just roll. You can literally use even your, your whole palm just so that you can get that nice perfect roll your whole arm even so your palm your arm everything now the reason i told you to take the scraper is in case it's begun to stuck because of not flooring your surface very well then you just use the scraper to lift it off uh, but mine seem to be quite fine it's just the chocolate chunks that are misbehaving and make sure it's nice and tight and you just want to continue to roll 
Wow. Yeah. There you go. That's what I was telling you. You can begin to use your scraper just to make sure that everything is sort of nice and out. Look at that. Perfect. Continue to roll. Well done. And if you one feel. More. Yes, one more. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. You got it. There you go. And if you feel like your dough, you see, I can just go ahead and just turn it. You can go ahead and turn yours as well. Just like that. Perfect. If you feel like there's some places that are thicker than the other, like mine, you can just go ahead and begin to press it on the thicker, on the thicker, exactly, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to slice this and then place it in our tray, which we're going to butter and wait for it to proof again. Now, proofing is basically we're just going to wait for it to rise again. Um, so, yeah. All right, now cut about an inch and a half, depending on how tall your tray is. And you want to make sure you're using a very sharp knife because that's what gives it that lovely coil in between. If you have thread, all you do is put the thread at the bottom and then just cut it with the thread. It works way better because you see this, we're flattening our dough. We're not supposed to do that. And I'll just go ahead and cut. You can go ahead and cut yours as well. Let me see if I can cut this. All right, now we can see, okay, maybe you can show them, it's filled our trays completely and that's what you're looking for. People just put it in the oven. That's the mistake. You want to make sure it rises, if you want to proof it. Basically, that's how you get that fluffy interior that you're looking for, a nice, soft cinnamon roll. And it looks so lovely. It does, doesn't it? Well yeah. done. That's all you, that's all you. Yes. You can call uh, me up for, you know, all your chef things you need. <laughs> From now on, you'll be going to the office with cinnamon rolls. I made cinnamon rolls. All right, now we're going to pop this into the oven at 180 degrees just until it's cooked through. Now, don't be fooled by browning at the top because most times the inside is not cooked through. So if you see that it's browning too fast, depending on your oven, just lower the heat and let it continue to cook. All right, we can go ahead and just dump them. Let's go. Right now here we have it please be careful it's still a bit hot okay. and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a glaze can be enjoyed as is in fact like you said you she did mention something about condensed milk yeah it's good with condensed milk mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you can use condensed milk I've never tried it with condensed milk or you can use uh, cream cheese to make a lovely glaze we don't have cream cheese so we're just gonna make an icing sugar basically like a cream which we're gonna use our butter yeah. All right, give that a mix just to make sure that the butter is nice and soft. And then I'm going to add in our icing sugar. It's getting a bit tough, but don't worry, just continue to mix it. It will e e eventually cream. Mm -hmm. Here you go, see, coming together. I'll go ahead and add some more as I add in a little bit of milk. Sorry. Give that a good whack. Keep going, wonderful, wonderful. Make sure it's become nice and creamy. So this doesn't need to be put in. Just add and add and add and add. There we have it. This is the consistency that we're looking for, a very nice thick um, icing. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's perfect when you add cream cheese in here as well. So, Ruki, I'm going to ask you to just add some dollops. It's still slightly warm, so it's still, it will begin to melt through. But just can add some, like so you can add some dollops just on top and then smear it with the, with the butter, with the, sorry. Just smear it with the, what you might call it, the spoon. Actually, that's, that's perfect. What you're doing is actually perfect. I don't want to put too much. That's just put as little as you'd like. And remember, we did make some chocolate chip ones. So I've just melted some of the chocolate that we used. And then I will do the same thing. 
Uh, I'll also just do the drizzles and then I'll also have some of your glaze as well, please. Oh, just, that looks nice. Thank you. You can have some of the chocolate if you'd like. Mm. Right, not really because yeah. it's a it's a so natural mixture. one okay <laughs> and then oh what we can do is we can do that for this one right yeah okay. okay now this is very thick so we want to make sure that it's just the perfect drizzle again she said she didn't want too much it's not going to work like the chocolate but just a little drizzles also works just fine i want some of this as well on mine i'm going to finish it off with this this is just not working the same way as the chocolate because <laughs> it's thicker it's, it's much thicker. thicker all right now the fun part about cinnamon rolls is even without this process of just cutting they're like buns so you can literally just pull one out uh, but i will get one out for you and then the best part is you just simply enjoy look at that just so soft cooked through fluffy fluffy you know it's not a dry it's like a bun literally like a bun please enjoy you can tear one if you'd like just okay. to show how soft it is i'll just go in with my hands just so i can show our viewers just how soft this is it is mm. literally fall apart it's i've got a nice soft consistency and just absolutely beautiful oh wow mm. Rukia, you did such a good job <laughs> that's so good mm. and then you can, did you get a bite of the raisin mm -hmm. yeah of the sultana it's just so soft. So good. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. And now you can make it. You're yeah. most welcome. <laughs> and now, now you I can, can cook it. and love to eat. And love to eat. I love that. Thank you so much for joining us, Rukia. Thank you for having me. This was so nice. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now remember, if you'd like to see some of the other recipes that we've made here on the show, all you have to do is scan that QR code and get cooking with us. A big thank you to the Pneumatic Kitchen for having us and Ajab for these fantastic, amazing ingredients that we've been able to use today. Remember, it's easy to knead, easy to roll, and easy to prepare. Now that's it for today here on Pishi Bomba. I've been with Rukia Bule. And my name is Claire Karatu. Happy cooking. Peshibomba in association with Ajab Home Baking Flour. Enjoy cooking your favorite meals with Ajab and freestyle your way to deliciousness. It's easy to knead, easy to roll and quick to prepare. Ajab Home Baking Flour. The flour that does more.